Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Facechick777 and today I'm coming at you because we are be going to learning the last applique in our crochet series and this applique is the little bird. Um, this is actually the fifth video because the first video was learning the stitches that we would be using in all these appliques. But today we're going to be learning, like I said, this cute little bird. It's actually a very easy applique, but you just have to be um, careful when you're coming to like the tail and the beak that you are um, very mindful of where you're placing your stitches so that you kind of get these little points, okay? But other than that, it's really easy. You're working in a tiny little spot, but it's really easy to do, okay? And this I actually think I did with the D hook. This one I did with the E hook, which is what we're going to be using today, okay? So here's the hook, and you can see the E right there. Okay, E hook. So I'll move my sign out of the way so we can get started. The first thing we need to do is make a loop with our uh, yarn here. So you're going to lay your short end, which is the, the loose end here, over your long end, okay, which is the end that's hooked and associated to your skein. You're going to take that long end and pull it through the loop. Then you're going to take your short end to pull and tug on that to close your loop. And then take your long end to make your loop smaller. You want the loop just big enough to be nice and snug. See, that's too loose. You want to pull on it so that it's just big enough and is right snug right against your hook. Okay? So, let's begin. First thing we're going to do is chain three. So to chain, you're going to yarn over, and basically what I'm talking about when I say yarn over, it just means, I'm going to cut the short end just a little bit, I don't want it that long. It just means that you're taking your yarn and you're placing it over your hook, okay? So you yarn over, you're going to twist and grab that yarn, and you're going to pull it through the loop on your hook. So there's one chain. You're going to yarn over, twist, grab, pull through, there's two chain. Yarn over, twist, grab, pull through. There's three chains. So see how you have kind of like three little V's there? See, that's kind of like a little V shape. Those are three chains on your hook. Then what we want to do is form a ring. Now this is going to be a tiny little ring, but we're going to do it. So what you're going to do is a slip stitch. You're going to take your hook and you're going to put it in that first V chain that's right next to that knot, okay? So you're going to put it through right through there. And you're going to yarn over, twist, grab, pull that thread through. And then you're going to take that thread and you're going to yarn and or pull it through the uh, loop on your hook. Okay? So now, believe it or not, we have made, which you can barely see, but we've made a tiny little circle. So the next thing we need to do is find, kind of find the center of that little circle. Okay? And we're going to be working through the center of that little circle. Okay, and what we want to do first, because we need to gain enough height to work the rest of the stitches that are going to be working through that circle. Okay, so we want to chain three. So chain one, chain two, chain three. And then we're going to do 14 double crochets. So you're going to double crochet, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go through the center of your loop. Oops, that's not the center. Yarn over, go through the center of your loop. That's really not even the center either. You gotta kind of find that center. There it is. Because that looks like the center, but that is the chain that we actually went through. So try and find the center. There we go. I found the center. It's going to be a little bit hard to do, but once you find your center and get a few stitches through it, it'll be a lot easier, okay? So, I yarned over, went through the center of my loop. I'm going to yarn over again and pull up a loop. I've got two, three chains on the hook, okay? Three loops on the hook. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to draw through two loops. Yarn over, draw through two loops, okay? Let's do it again. I'm going to yarn over, go through the center of that ring, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two loops. Okay, let's do it again. Yarn over into the center, yarn over, twist and pull through, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two loops. 
One more time, yarn over into the center, yarn over and draw through, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two loops. Okay, so we've got four of those on there, we need 14, so let's do 10 more. And as you're doing this, try to hold the short edge right next to that ring so that you, um, as you um, yarn over and stuff and go through that ring, you'll kind of go right around that little short edge and you'll kind of hide it inside the ring, okay? There's five. Six. Seven. Once you get a bunch of double crochets on there, your little ring is going to be a lot easier to see. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. It's going to get nice and tight. 13 and 14. Okay, now before we go any further, I want to cut off the rest of that little short piece because we just don't need it anymore. We're done with it. Okay, and then we've got what looks like almost a heart, but we want to close that up. So what we're going to do is slip stitch again. We want to slip stitch in the um, somewhere in that first chain three that we did when we very first got started. Okay, so just you've got so you can see one chain, two chain, three chain. Just chain three in there somewhere, or slip stitch in that chain three in there somewhere. So insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and draw up that loop, and then draw that loop through the loop on your hook. And now we've got a nice little circle. Okay, now where we just slip stitched, which is right there, we are going to work in that area, right where we just slip stitched in that chain. These next set of stitches are going to stay in that slip stitch area, okay? What we want to do is chain three. We're going to start to make the head now. Two and three. So we've chained three and now we're going to do five double crochets in that same area where we slip stitched. Okay, so five double crochets. Go right into that slip stitch area. So one, oops I lost it. Sorry guys. Okay, right into that slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so now there's our little head and we have a little body, but we kind of want our head to look circular, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch See how like we've got a body and it almost looks like a neck? We're going to slip stitch right in that little neck area, kind of where we did all those in the same area where we just did all the double crochets, okay? So just slip stitch right in that same spot. So go in that same area and do a slip stitch. So now it looks like we actually have kind of a round little body and a round little head, okay? Let me pull some more string out here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get back around over to here to make our little tail, okay? So what we're going to do is single crochet in the next eight stitches. We're back onto the body, okay? See how we start, we see our next little V shapes? Are, so those are our next eight little stitches. So we want to single crochet in those eight little stitches. I like to go right underneath that V shape. Okay, you don't go on top, you kind of go right underneath it. So a single crochet, go right underneath that V shape, yarn over, grab your thread, pull through, you've got two loops on the hook, 
and you're going to yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook. Okay, so let's, there's one, go into the next stitch and do it again. Okay, into the next stitch number three, go in, yarn over, pull up your loop, draw through two loops on the hook. Let's go into number four, number five, Number six, number seven, and number eight. Okay, now these next set of stitches we're going to be working in the same, the next stitch. We're going to stay in that next stitch for a bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is in the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet. And basically what that is, is you yarn over, go into your next stitch, yarn over again, and twist, grab, twist your hook, grab that thread, and pull it through. You've got three loops on the hook, and you're going to yarn over and draw through all three loops on the hook. Okay, let me show you again. Let me pull that out. Half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, go into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull the thread through, you've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over and draw through all three loops on the hook. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is chain three. You got that. So chain one, chain two, chain three. And so now we want to make a little point on our tail. So what you're going to do is just slip stitch. We just chained three, right? So you're going to slip stitch in that very first chain you made right after you did the half double crochet. So you're just going to insert your hook into that first chain. Okay, you're going to yarn over and pull up that thread and then you're going to pull that thread right through the loop on your hook. So now you've kind of made a little point. Okay, and then what you're going to do is half double crochet again back down into that same stitch that we did the first half double crochet, all right? So yarn over, go back down into that stitch on the body where we did the first half double crochet. Yarn over and pull it through. Got three loops on the hook. Yarn over and draw through all three loops on the hook. Okay? Make sure you kind of pull it nice and tight and then we've just made a little tail. Okay? And then the next thing you want to do is you want to single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay? single crochet. So go into the next little stitch, pull up a loop, single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet, next stitch, single crochet, next stitch, go in through it, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then draw through both loops on the hook. Okay? And then what we want to do is go back into the neck area. So what we're going to do, see that little neck area right there? It's kind of right. I'm trying to hold everything. Right into that little neck area right there. See, and you kind of have a little hole right there. See that little hole that's kind of right there? We're going to do a slip stitch right in that little hole. Okay? Just because we want to keep the neck a neck, right? So we're just going to slip stitch right in that hole. Pull it through and pull it through the loop on your hook. Perfect. So now we're going to stay a little neck, okay? And then the next thing we want to do is we want to single crochet again on the stitches on the head, just like we've been doing around the body. All these little V-shaped stitches. We want to single crochet in the next five stitches, okay? So you have two stitches on that first chain that we did when we very first started. You got to go in there and do your little single crochet in that little first stitch. Mine is a little tight there. I apologize. I got to kind of move my thread there. Go into that first little because you did like it. Remember when we did the head? We did a chain three, so it might be a little confusing. But there's two chains on that chain three. You got to stitch into. Okay. If you miss it, then just chain four and stop at chain four. But if you get both stitches on those chains there. I know it sounds confusing, but I've done it where I've missed it and I only got four chains before. Because what you want to do is create your beak 
on the second to the last chain on your head because we want to create our beak here and then single crochet here and then do a slip stitch and finish off. So for some reason you only get four stitches coming around, you're okay with that. But you should be able to do five, but if you've missed a stitch and you only do four, that's okay. So we're going to crochet, single crochet, our first little stitch on our head. Because with that first chain three, sometimes you miss a stitch and you only get one single crochet in there is what I'm trying to say. But that's okay. It doesn't change the shape of anything. Two. Three single crochet. Four single crochet. Five single crochet. And then we're going to create a little beak just like we did the tail. So in the next stitch we're going to half double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, draw your string up. You got three loops on the hook, yarn over and draw through all three loops on the hook. Okay, now remember we chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch in that first chain we just made. Insert your hook and draw up your loop and draw that loop through the loop on your hook. so that you make a little point and then we're going to half double crochet right back down in that first stitch where we did the first half double crochet okay right back down in that same stitch half double crochet and actually yeah half double crochet it gets really tight it's doable okay now we have a kind of a little nose there or a little beak I guess you could say okay cute little beak all right, and then what we want to do is single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then we want to slip stitch right back in the little nape of that neck there. So slip stitch right in there. Create a little slip stitch. You guys got this. There we go. And we just finished our bird. So make a loop really big and then Let's cut off that excess. We're going to take this short edge and pull it through that loop and pull it nice and tight. We just made our little bird. So it just gets a little confusing at the tail and the beak and we did it. And a little bit confusing maybe on the head. But like I said, if you've done four stitches and you are down to the last two stitches on the bird's head, it's okay. It'll be fine. But you should be able to get five, but if you only, because I've done them and only got, I missed a stitch and only got four before I had to do the beak. That's okay. Okay, is that understandable? All right, so then what we want to do is hide this little thread. So I usually grab a smaller hook and I just turn my little bird over and go on the back. And I kind of weave my hook through some of those stitches and I pull that little thread through. Okay, and then try and find some really long stitches in here where we did like double crochets or something. And grab that thread and just weave it through and pull it through in there. Okay, maybe just a couple more stitches. Sometimes it gets stuck and that's what it's doing. Try it again. Couple more stitches. Drag that thread through. There we go. And let's cut off that excess. Basically, kind of just sewed it in there so we don't have a string hanging. And kind of reshape out your little bird. And there you go. See, you even kind of almost have an eyeball. Okay, I know you guys have this. It, like I said, just gets a little confusing here and here. Um, but you can do this. I have faith in you. If I can do it, you can do it. And I will have the pattern down below. Okay, if there's any help that I can help you with, any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you and answer you. I thank you for sharing your time with me. And thank you for sharing your time with all these appliques. I hope they were fun for you. Hope you get to use some of them. You know, the little hearts and the flowers in your projects. Um... But I love teaching you, so I hope they were all very understandable and easy to learn. Like I said, I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.